हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास दिस इज टेंथ क्लास इन सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज चैप्टर वी आर डूइंग दिस चैप्टर इन जेई लेवल वी आर इन जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन कॉन्सेप्ट इन एर्लियर क्लासेस वी लर्न अबाउट अर्धमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन एंड नोट पॉइंट्स एंड वी डिड फोर्टी प्रॉब्लम इन दैट मेनी जेई पी वाई क्यूज आर देर and then we learn what is geometric progression we learn i think uh, 10 note points very important note points related to geometric progression in this class we'll do two previous year three previous year questions in that two previous year questions related to geometric progression nth term related and in this class we will learn derivation for sum of n terms in geometric progression and uh, what is the formula for sum of n terms in geometric progression when r equal to 1 and sum of infinite terms in geometric progression and when we do one 20 24 question related to sum of n terms in geometric progression before going to start this video please drop a like for this video share this video in your friends group in case if you are not yet subscribed to this channel subscribe now without much delay let's begin the class you see this is the question given in 2024 what they are saying in this question alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation in this question only they mentioned this p value not equal to 0 okay you know this if alpha and beta are the roots of a quadratic equation then the equation looks like this x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0 what is this this is a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta right suppose they given one equation like this x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 this contains two roots na sum of those two roots is this and product of those two roots is this see here from this what i can write if alpha and beta are the roots of this equation i can write alpha plus beta equal to 5 compare this with this right x coefficient here minus sign is there yes x coefficient alpha plus beta is 5 alpha into beta is 6 okay so as they are saying alpha beta are the roots of this quadratic equation from this i can write alpha plus beta alpha beta first i'll write this equation into this form x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0 this complete equation you divide with p you observe this complete equation i divided with p and i tried to write this in the form of x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0 so from this what i'll get i'll get alpha plus beta what is alpha plus beta you see here minus sign is there this x coefficient here you see here this plus is there no here minus is there minus of minus here i forgot to write this this minus right what is alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is minus q divided by p what is alpha beta alpha beta is minus r divided by p this we know from quadratic uh, equations concept okay and you see in the question they given p q r r in gp three terms a b c r in gp then what do you know you know that b square equal to ac if three terms p q r r in gp then what do you know you know that q square equal to p r this is the information we have okay and they given this information 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta equal to 3 by 4 i'll write that one also so from the given question i got these three informations what i need to calculate i need to calculate alpha minus beta whole square you see here i do little bit of simple equation to this you simplify this left hand side part what you will get you will get alpha plus beta divided by alpha beta equal to 3 by 4 you see alpha plus beta alpha beta values we already have here substitute alpha plus beta alpha beta in this then you will get it as q by r so you know q by r q by r value is 3 by 4 this is one useful information okay and one more thing in the question they are asking alpha minus beta whole square na options are like this 20 by 9 3 10 by 9 80 by 9 something like that four options given like this option is a number 
right it is not in terms of uh, p q r right okay now actually what i need to calculate i need to calculate alpha minus beta whole square i know this formula from identities alpha minus beta whole square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta good alpha plus beta we already have here alpha plus beta here alpha plus beta whole square is there now what this will become this will become q square plus q square divided by p square this will become q square divided by p square minus 4 alpha beta alpha beta is minus r by p now substitute in this what it will become this will become plus 4 r divided by p okay as they given p q r in geometric progression i know q square is p r so in place of q square i'll write p r write p r so this is p r divided by p square so 1 p will get cancelled so if you simplify this p is the lcm what you will get here this is nothing but 5 r divided by p right so i need to calculate alpha minus beta whole square its answer is in terms of r and p but when i check the options option is a re real number so i need to find this r p values you see here i know this uh, q by r value i know what i'll do this p is there na? this p can be written as q square by r from this p can be written as q square by r write it 5 r divided by in place of p i can write q square divided by r if you simplify this you see here if this r comes to the numerator this is nothing but 5 times of r square by q square that can be written as r by q whole square you see from this can i write r by q here i got q by r value no? r by q is what r by q is reciprocal of this r by q is 4 by 3 so in place of r by q i can write 4 by 3 4 by 3 whole square is what that is 16 by 9 16 divided by 9 5 into 16 is 80 divided by 9 in the question they are asking as to find alpha minus beta whole square alpha minus beta whole square value is 80 divided by 9 see this is easy only but uh, little tricky things are there as per j standards we may consider it as a bit easy only right i hope you understand this solution you comment what you felt this problem is easy difficult you see this question number four in this geometric progression this question is given in 2024 je exam what they given a and b are two distinct positive real numbers a and b are two distinct positive real numbers different positive real numbers seventh term of geometric progression here a bit tricky things are given try to understand 11th term of a geometric progression whose first term is a third term is b here what i'll do to understand you this easily i'll keep a bracket here you will come to know why these things they given is equal to that means 11th term of a gp is equal to they are saying like this is equal to pth term of another gp okay and for another gp first term is a fifth term is b this problem is actually easy but they are trying to confuse in the question right it is easy let's see how to solve this first point we understand that there are two geometric progressions 11th term of first geometric progression is p -th term of another geometric progression we need to find the value of p okay here for this first geometric progression whose first term is a and third term is b given i uh, will write that information in the question they given first term is a and third term is b okay and for the second geometric progression whose first term is a fifth term is b this is the another geometric progression second geometric progression in this question so what i'll do that first term i'll take it as capital a1 and fifth term i'll take it as capital a5 capital a indicates here capital a5 indicates here fifth term of second geometric progression in the question only they given fifth term of second geometric progression is b this information already given in the question okay 
third term of first geometric progression. What is the formula for third term? A R square, right? A into R square equal to B. From this, what is R square? R square is B divided by A. I got one information from this. Okay. And you observe here, they given fifth term. This is the fifth term of second geometric progression. Fifth term formula is what? A into R power 4. If I write like this, you may confuse. So what I will do here, fifth term, here for this I taken first term as A1, na, A into common ratio, I will take it as capital R. A into R power 4 equal to B. In this, they given first term is A, small a, right? I will write the same thing. A into R power 4 equal to B. From this, I can write R power 4. What is R power 4? R power 4 is B by A. I got another information from this data. Actual thing is what in the question they given that 11th term of GP is equal to pth term of another GP. So I will write that also. 11th term of GP is equal to pth term of another geometric progression. 11th term of geometric progression formula is what? A into R power 10 equal to pth term of geometric progression formula is what? Capital A1 into R power P minus 1. In the question only they given this capital A1 is nothing but A. So in place of this I can write A. Now you see this AA will get cancelled. Here we know this R square value now. We can easily write R power 10. Take whole power 5 on both sides, right? What is R power 10? R power 10 is B by A whole power 5. R power 10 is B by A whole power 5 equal to. Here you see they given R power P minus 1. We already know what is R power 4. What is R from this? From this we can write that R equal to B by A whole power 1 by 4 right you take a uh, whole power p minus 1 on both sides r power p minus 1 is what b by a whole power 1 by 4 whole power p minus 1 this is nothing but p minus 1 divided by 4 right so r power p minus 1 is what r power p minus 1 is nothing but b divided by a whole power 1 by 4, whole power p minus 1 is p minus 1 divided by 4. I hope you are understand. Actually, what I want to calculate? I want to calculate the value of p, right? Okay. You see here, bases are equal. So, I can equate the powers. Equate the powers. What you will get? 5 equal to p minus 1 divided by 4. From this, what is p? Just uh, take this 4 to this side. 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 1 is what? 21. So, the value of P is 21. In this question, they are asking the value of P. Its answer is 21. Easy. These problems are easy. Now, we will learn derivation for sum of n terms of geometric progression, sum of infinite terms in geometric progression. And we do one problem uh, related to sum of n terms of geometric progression, which is given in 2024. Sum of n terms in geometric progression. In this video, we will derive this formula, sum of n terms in geometric progression formula derivation we will do now. I take sum of n terms Sn like this. First term in geometric progression, general pattern A. Second term AR. Third term AR square. Fourth term a r power 3. If we proceed like this, what is nth term of geometric progression? Nth term of geometric progression is a into r power n minus 1. Okay. Now, I need to find sum of all these. I taken this as s n. So, I need to find s n now. What I will do to find s n? This complete equation I will multiply with R on both sides. Multiply with R on both sides into Sn equal to A into R plus R into AR that is AR square plus A into R power 3 plus 
a into r power 4 plus it continues like this if this term if i multiply with r what i'll get a into r power n minus 1 into r r power 1 here bases are equal na power should be added n minus 1 plus 1 so what you will get a into r power n you will get last term here is a into r power n okay what i will do here i will subtract these two equations subtract here i will write the sign as we are subtracting you know this sign will change okay you observe this part what you will get here s n minus r into s n you can take s n common then what you will get 1 minus r into s n you will get right so here this left hand side part you will get 1 minus r into s n that equal to you observe this right hand side part exclude this one a plus and you just see plus a r minus a r will get cancelled plus a r square minus a r square will get cancelled all these terms you observe this pattern follows like this this pattern follows like this that means this also will get cancelled what are the terms remaining the remaining terms are this a minus a into r power n remaining all terms will get cancelled i hope you are understanding so in right hand side part what you will get you will get a minus a into r power n in the right hand side part you take a common then what you will get 1 minus r power n right from this what is s n you will get s n as a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r you take this 1 minus r to the right hand side part okay now i got formula for sum of n terms in geometric progression right here one more way see here what happened here if i suppose this as equation 1 this as equation 2 i did equation 1 minus equation 2 to get sn same thing you can try equation 2 minus equation 1 when you do equation 2 minus equation 1 then you will get s n like this s n equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 you see these two formulas are actually same you just take minus common here and both will get cancelled again you will get this only so sum of n terms in geometric progression formula is we can use this formula or we can use this formula but most of the cases we will say this to the students when r is less than 1 you choose sum of n terms formula like this if r is greater than 1 then you choose sum of n terms formula like this but the point is you can choose any formula to calculate sum of n terms whatever r r is less than 1 or greater than 1 i'll try to explain this with the example you can observe here these numbers are in geometric progression total how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 so i'll calculate sum of these five terms with the help of both the formulas let's see what we'll get in this a is 1 r is 2 common ratio sum of five terms formula is what a into you observe this i'll substitute this a value r value in this formula substitute what you will get 1 into 1 minus r power n r is 2 2 power n n indicates number of terms number of terms here n is 5 2 power 5 divided by 1 minus r you simplify what you will get you see here 1 minus 32 that is minus 31 divided by minus 1 which is same as 31 so if you simplify this you will get 31 you can check some of these terms 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 which is same as 31 right now what i will do for the same i will use this formula let's see what you will get sum of five terms formula a is 1 r is 2 2 power 5 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 you simplify this 
2 power 5 is 32. 32 minus 1 is 31. 31 divided by 1 is 31. So, sum of 5 terms of geometric progression either use this formula or this formula answer is same right and you observe one thing in this sum of n terms in the denominator 1 minus r r minus 1 is there if r value is 1 then sum of n terms this formula does not work when r value is 1 right I will write that details here sum of n terms in geometric progression formula is a into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r or a into r power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus r and this formula does not works when r value equal to 1. So, this formula works only when r value not equal to 1. You may question what will happen sir when r equal to 1? Good, good question. r equal to 1. You put r equal to 1 in this sum of n terms you observe here. In this, in place of r, you put 1. Here, total how many terms are there like this? Total n terms are there. In each term, if you put r equal to 1, a, this is also a, this is also a, like that, this is like a plus, a plus, a plus, like that, how many a's are there? n times a is there. When r equal to 1, sum of n terms is n into a. So, when r equal to 1, sum of n terms formula is n times of a. What is a? a is the first term of the geometric progression. So, this is the formula we use to calculate sum of n terms in geometric progression. Here, sum of n terms formula, we can use this or we can use this also a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So, this these are the formulas we use uh, to calculate sum of n terms in geometric progression. Here one important point is also there that is sum of infinite terms in geometric progression. Infinite terms, infinite terms, see try to understand sum of infinite terms is infinite only now. Then why this case came? When r value is less than 1, I will discuss those things, I will write here. And the sum of infinite in geometric progression, whatever I am going to explain, that works when r value less than 1. If we say more clearly, modulus of r is less than 1. Modulus of r is less than 1 means r value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. If r value is not in between minus 1 and plus 1, suppose r value is 3 something like this, then sum of infinite terms in geometric progression is infinite only because it is infinite terms now how many terms you will add. So, the sum of infinite terms formula works only when r value is less than 1. Okay. Here you know sum of n terms in geometric progression formula we just now derived. Here this is the formula for sum of n terms. This is sum of infinite terms. In place of n, infinity is there. You change this n to infinity. You change this n to infinity. When r value is less than 1 and r power infinity. Suppose you take one number in between 0 and 1 or in between minus 1 and 1. Uh, suppose I will take 0 0.3. 0 0.3 whole power 100 is what? 0 0.3 whole power 100 is 0 0.0000 something you will get. It is whatever last you will get that is negligible. We can say it as a 0, right? So, when r value is in between minus 1 and plus 1 and here one more thing, here r value cannot be equal to 0, right? r value cannot be equal to 0 because a sequence of non-zero terms is said to be geometric progression. It is not a geometric progression if r equal to 0. As I said, modulus, you may get doubt, uh, modulus of r less than 1 means r value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. In this 0 is there, then when 0 is there, this does not work, right? r value not equal to 0. So, here when you take a number which is less than 1 and when we do that whole power infinite, suppose something like 3 by 5, 3 by 5 is uh, uh, less than 1. You write one bigger number, very bigger number, what is this value? 0 0.000 something you will get which is nothing but 0 only actually. So, when we calculate sum of infinite terms and r value less than 1, this will become 0, this, this term will become 0. Then what you will get in that case? In that case, 
you will get this as a into 1 minus r power infinity will become 0 divided by 1 minus r. So, sum of infinite terms in geometric progression formula is a divided by 1 minus r. This is the formula we use to calculate sum of infinite terms in geometric progression. I hope you understand uh, the formulas for sum of n terms in geometric progression uh, and see what is sum of n terms in geometric progression this or this you can use any formula to calculate sum of n terms in geometric progression this formula does not works when r equal to 1 this formula works only when r not equal to 1 when r equal to 1 sum of n terms in geometric progression directly you can write uh, sn equal to n a sum of infinite terms in geometric progression formula is a divided by 1 minus r. I hope you understand what uh, about this sum of n terms in geometric progression and sum of infinite terms in geometric progression. You see this question if in a geometric progression of 64 terms, this is also given in 2024. If in a geometric progression of 64 terms, geometric progression contains 64 terms the sum of all the terms is 7 times the sum of odd terms of a geometric progression then common ratio of geometric progression question seems to be simple see uh, i request in case if you already done sequence and series uh, ncrt just pause this video try this problem your own see this je problems is all about your practice only by listening you will get an idea what way to do but in je examination if you you need to develop the skill of solving the problem for that pause this video try your own if you didn't get the answer no need to worry then check the solution at least you will you will get a clarity where where you missed the main track okay this question is related to sum of n terms of geometric progression so, you see, geometric progression contains 64 terms they given. That means n value already given. n is 64. Sum of all the terms is, sum of all the terms means yes, 64. Sum of all 64 terms is 7 times sum of odd terms of geometric progression. Sum of odd terms. Odd terms means first term, third term, fifth term like that. I will write that only here. A1 plus a3 plus a5 plus and so on what is the last term this contains 64 terms now what is the last term last term is 63rd term because we are calculating sum of odd terms of geometric progression this is sum of odd terms i hope these things are clear okay in this question they not given anything related to first term common ratio that information is not there uh, I suppose common ratio is yes, the 64 terms are there. Na? For that uh, 64 terms, common ratio is R, I will suppose. Okay, first term I will take it as A. Okay, first term I will take it as A. Sum of 64 terms. What is the formula for sum of n terms in geometric progression? Just now we derived na? A into 1 minus R power n divided by 1 minus R. This is the formula. Yes, the 64 is what? In place of n, you just write 64 okay what is s64 a into 1 minus r power 64 divided by 1 minus r that equal to 7 times now i need to calculate sum of all these terms in earlier class we discussed this in a note point a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on a20 are in geometric progression if you take the terms in a regular interval like a1, a3, a5, a7, if we take these numbers in a regular interval, that numbers are also forms a geometric progression. In case if you not watch it that video, please watch. So here, whatever I take a1, a3, a5, these forms a geometric progression. In, in case if you have any doubt, you can check the common ratio a3 divided by a1 a5 divided by a3 all are what a3 minus a1 is what r power 2 a5 divided by a3 fifth term divided by third term is what r square you can easily understand these also forms a geometric progression 
so here how many terms are there total 64 terms are there na uh, 64 one odd numbers how many odd numbers are there total 32 terms are there 32 plus 32 64 okay first term i am writing this formula sum of n terms formula a into 1 minus r power in that formula i am writing first term is same here here see first term is a1 the same first term is there for first 64 terms also here this a this both are same so a into 1 minus r power n n means how many terms are there here 32 terms are there right 32 divided by 1 minus r here you need to observe one point for this forms a geometric progression now for that what is the common ratio what is the common ratio a3 by a2 is what it is r square right so here we just written r this is wrong this is r square whole power 32 actually this is r square whole power 32 here also this is not 1 minus r r is common ratio now for these terms common ratio is r square i hope you understand r square whole power 32 is what r power 64 this is r power 64 divided by 1 minus r square if you observe this this a a will get cancelled 1 minus r power 64 will get cancelled and this 1 minus r square is there no? that can be written as 1 plus r into 1 minus r then this 1 minus r also will get cancelled then what you will get you will get that 1 equal to 7 divided by 1 plus r cross multiply 1 plus r equal to 7 r equal to 7 minus 1 6 i hope you understand this in this question what they are asking they are asking us to find common ratio of the geometry progression we got that r value i hope you understand this class if you like this video please drop a like share this video with your friends group in case if you are not yet subscribed to this channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye